comic. What is your favourite book? Or are you not a big reader? I've always loved books, reading anything I could get my hands on. To me, reading is one of life's greatest pleasures, a unique opportunity to explore new worlds, imagine situations and understand how different people work. And I'm always keen to pass on this love to others. So how do you teach a love of reading? I remember my parents reading to us, showing us pictures and expanding them into stories. I loved the old annuals you could get with short picture cartoon strips. They were easy to understand, even if I couldn't follow all the words. A picture speaks a thousand words and comics use mostly pictures with a few words, so are a great way of encouraging children to read on their own, providing them with pictorial support to understand the story, but the challenge to figure out the dialogue. My brothers like comics. The Beano, Dandy, all the Marvel superheroes, X-Men, Fantastic Four, which are now being made into movies. They were full of action and plain English text so that you could follow the story easily and work out on your own what was happening. When I heard that there is a new comic strip coming out featuring a deaf hero, I was intrigued. Signs and Voices is a comic book put together by a group of deaf and hearing artists, designers and linguists. The story features four heroes who fight against a corrupt government to protect a special child who is, one, who is the one who has been prophesied to restore peace and justice to their crumbling kingdom. But I won't tell you what happens, you'll have to read it. The big difference with this comic is that it comes in two versions. A mainstream English and an easy English version, making it more accessible for low literacy readers. Some of the characters sign. Key words are highlighted in blue and are available on the website. And there is a sign language vocabulary video for the mainstream version, plus additional explanations in a sign language dictionary video for the easy English version. The comic can be also purchased from the website in Kindle or paper version on www.signsandvoices.com. See what you think. Oh, and my favourite book? Well, I'm an old romantic now. September by Rosamund Pilcher.